Concrete 5's in-context editing isn't limited to just text. You can add all sorts of functionality to a site with just a couple of clicks. Let's quickly add a form to this page, something with a little validation and the ability to submit a file. I'm just going to put the page in edit mode. I'm going to find the block area where we want to add the new form. Let's put it in the main content well. I'm just going to pick add to main. And that brings up our new block interface. A list of all sorts of different types of things we can add, but I'm going to pick form. This brings up the form edit interface, and it's going to ask you to put a few questions in for your form. You can see there's all sorts of options, typical form elements, including some handy ones we've added, and we're going to go ahead and make the name field required. Tells us we've added one question, and we can keep adding more. I'm going to give a spot for people to put a couple of comments in, and I'm going to make that a larger text box. That's not required. And I want people to actually upload a file on this form, and that is required. Now if we come over here to the preview tab, we can see what our form is basically going to look like. And that's fine for this. And give it a name. Use in the back end and display a message once people submit it. And even set it up to send you an email when someone submits a form so you know that you're getting activity. And you can turn CAPTCHA on if you are worried about getting too much activity. Go ahead and add this form to your page. And you can see here's the form. If I hit exit edit mode and publish my changes, we added a form to the page right there. Now let's go ahead and submit it. Pick file. And there's our thank you message. Now you may be wondering where does this data go? Well, if you go to your dashboard, over here to reports. Here's a list of forms on the site. If I view responses, you see, here's the data we just put in. View all the fields. And you can even see the image that was uploaded right here. Concrete 5 will even spit this data out into an Excel file so you can use it for offline reporting. So you can see, editing your site is just the beginning with Concrete 5. You can build a truly dynamic application that includes all sorts of interactive functionality.